everybody, I'm Ashley Kramer, Chief Product Officer and Chief Marketing Officer at SciSense. And I'm excited to talk to you today about how we're empowering customers all across the world to infuse analytics everywhere. But first, a little bit about myself. Prior to this role, I was head of product at Alteryx, helping them build out an end-to-end -end data science platform. Prior to that, I was head of cloud strategy at Tableau Software. And prior to that, I was at Amazon in early AWS days. So I'm excited to talk to you today about where SciSense is going because it combines all of what I just talked about, cloud data and analytics into one powerful platform. But first, let's talk about how data and applications have evolved over the past 20 years and how analytics hasn't necessarily kept up with that evolution. We'll start with generation one, which was back in the early 2000s and the 90s. This entailed a bunch of data being locked in on-premises servers and people in the business having to go and wait in line to talk to IT, to get the reports built, to be sent to them, to make actionable insights. As you can imagine, that left too big of a gap between insight and action. So then came around to generation two. This was when people were starting to really heavily use desktop software, and a lot of vendors in generation two took a desktop first approach. And what happened here was really they wanted to put the power of data at everybody's fingertips, allowing analysts to build dashboards and then the business to go find that data in dashboards. Now this helped break down the barrier of IT being a bottleneck. However, it was hard for the business to really go and find that data in the dashboard and scale beyond to actionable intelligence. Not everybody understands how to consume data deep within dashboards. And that brings us to the cusp of generation three where it will be all about bringing data to people where they're spending their time so they can really take action on the data in front of them. Now, let me double click in that a little bit more. So if we wanna talk about how analytics is mostly delivered today, it's via things like printed reports, standalone dashboards, and even sometimes emailed screenshots of visualizations. Now, let's take a second to think about how humans consume information today. This is done via things like in-context alerts. An example would be Gmail. How many of you have been using Gmail and sent an email and then three days later it pops back up and says, hey, do you know this person hasn't responded? It's telling me information I need right where I'm spending my time so I can action on it. Lots of you out there are probably like me and are hooked on Netflix and you've probably noticed that as you watch more and more content, it starts to personalize your content journey and give you better and better recommendations. This is another way people are used to consuming information today. And finally, we're all running around on our cell phones, getting alerts and notifications on things happening in our life. And most of us also wear a watch like I do that says, hey, you haven't stood up in an hour, or it's the end of the day and you haven't gotten your steps in. The information, the data, the things to action on come to us. But unfortunately in analytics, we just haven't caught up to that yet. And that is why we're seeing a lack of adoption when it comes to analytics. So now let me talk to you about how SciSense solves this for customers. SciSense provides analytics in context where people are spending their time. An example, is developers spending time in GitLab. SciSense is infused deeply right within the GitLab experience so they can see their insights as they're doing their work, never having to leave the experience. Also, personalization is a big part of what SciSense provides to customers. Think of things like CRM systems. As the sales team is understanding their opportunity, pre-canned dashboards embedded into those experiences can only tell them so much. And so what SciSense does is provide a personalized data journey. So from salesperson to salesperson, they can understand exactly what they need to know to act on that opportunity and also take the next best step. And then finally, there's a lot of business applications that customers are using every day. An example is UiPath. And as people are using these applications to drive efficiencies in their business and operationalize, they need insights right there in the experience where they are. And so SciSense is deeply infused in applications like UiPath, never having to break the workflow and the process of the people needing the analytics the most. Now let's talk a little bit about how SciSense does this. So SciSense has one platform called SciSense Fusion that provides a way to connect to data anywhere, whether it's in files, in the web, or deeply within scalable cloud data warehouses. You can use either our in-memory engine, you can use live connectivity, or you can combine them both together and really build customized experiences going beyond just the dashboard and building an experience that's in context, 
personalized, to be infused deeply in the experiences where people are spending their time, like applications, processes, and workflows. The SciSense Fusion platform provides two powerful use cases. We embed deeply within, within external applications so customers can improve their product experience, so they can add value and get a competitive advantage or even monetize their data. And then we also are infused deeply within internal applications like the CRM systems that I mentioned earlier to drive efficiencies within the business, drive actionable outcomes, and really start to drive data-driven decisions. And of course, we don't do it alone. We have strong partnerships across the entire data, machine learning, and cloud ecosystem where you can plug in the things you need to build one powerful experience using SciSense and our partners across the world. And speaking of partnerships, we also partner very, very closely with our customers to make sure that they are successful in their implementation and their scaling of SciSense. And so now I'd like to introduce a close partner, friend, and customer, Shal Shalev, to talk about his experience in infusing analytics everywhere using SciSense at Air Canada. Shal, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about Air Canada and your role there? So Air Canada is Canada's largest uh, domestic and international airline, serving more than uh, 210 uh, different airports on six uh, different continents, both uh, passengers and cargo. Uh, it's the uh, flag carrier uh, and amongst the uh, 20 largest uh, airlines in the world, uh, serving more than 50 million customers uh, each and every year, and one of the founding members of the uh, Star Alliance uh, group. Uh, my uh, job there is I am supposed to bring analytics capabilities into uh, the corporate uh, safety environment, quality and security branch, and while bringing in also uh, new uh, IT innovations. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, and, you know, I've described Sci the SciSense view about needing to go beyond the dashboard to really bring insights to business users where they're spending their time. And you had this problem with getting the adoption of analytics to grow at Air Canada, and you solved this with some unique innovation. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely, my pleasure. So uh, uh, our leaders in corporate safety are really obsessed with finding new ways to push actionable data to our uh, user community. Our user community is anything from the uh, person at the gate to our uh, executives. I'm being challenged regularly uh, on finding new ways to push that actionable data to them. Uh, traditionally, the way we do this is using, is using uh, regular uh, you know, uh, methods and, uh, and uh, tools like emails, uh, alerts, uh, PDFs, uh, files, bulletins, dashboard, etc. However, in, in today's age, uh, where, where the landscape changes so rapidly, uh, this is just not uh, good enough. I was able to build uh, a few uh, proof of concepts uh, just by observing uh, the, the, the ever-changing uh, landscape um, of the new reality that, that we're dealing with uh, uh, today, where I just cannot expect a user uh, to stop uh, his or her uh, day job and go to a, you know, an office, uh, print out that uh, PDF, look at the dashboard, or look at the appropriate email or bulletin or, or find them. Uh, and then and then start to uh, you know digest that data. All those steps requires the users uh, to physically leave uh, uh, what they do. You know, uh, go to that uh, designated office where they have their uh, laptop or PC, uh, log into the Windows, log into the company portal, uh, finding the relevant material, either the email or log into the dashboard, and then try to really understand uh, the data that they're looking at. Uh, I am uh, convinced that there is a much easier uh, way to, uh, to do that. And I was able to discover that in one case, many of our users uh, have uh, smartwatches, uh, which are basically, if you look at it, it's, it's, it's a computer uh, that they're carrying 24 seven that has connectivity that's, uh, uh, that's, uh, that, that makes it aware. So all of a sudden I have now a medium where I can push uh, that information to them uh, and allow them to interact with the data that I'm, that I'm pushing to them in a much more natural uh, way and in real time. So I developed that uh, smartwatch app where I can push those uh, different uh, KPIs or widget uh, to them. Thanks for that overview, Shell. The smartwatch is a great example and one that I noted earlier is the first to tell me every day when I haven't gotten my steps in, you know, the guilt factor. Tell me about some of the other POCs that you're working on. 
Sure. So another uh, POC that uh, uh, that we've developed uh, with uh, with you guys with uh, with Tysense is is utilizing the Amazon Echo uh, platform. So now we have the ability to place uh, a smart speaker and allow my users to ask it their own language uh, and in a much more uh, natural way questions and Alexa answers, eliminating the real uh, the real need of. Uh, leaving the workplace, uh, having to log into three different systems uh, just to get to a point where they can look at the data. So, so this is really a smart uh, way to allow the users to, to, well, to experience a more natural interaction uh, uh, with that uh, device, uh, for example. So another POC that uh, we've built was um, taking the usual you know, dashboard, two-dimensional uh, screen that you're looking at it, and transforming that into an immersive 3D environment where I'm able to use mixed reality to display the data, but in a different way. So a user can look at it from a different angle and by that understanding it better. Bottom line, it is my duty to make sure I am able to push the same data to different groups of people that we look at it in different ways, but will understand it the same. This is really what drives me into building all those different uh, proof of concepts. That's great. Thank you for that. And that's very aligned with the SciSense view on the world where analytics need to be in context and personalized and delivered and infused to where people are. So can you tell me a little bit more about how you're using SciSense to make analytics more approachable for your business users? Absolutely. So uh, this might not be you know, the most appropriate thing to, to, to say, but uh, bottom line, a BI tool is a BI tool, right? Uh, the, uh, all the major players have the ability to display widgets in the shape of indicators, bar chart, maps, etc. cetera. Uh, what really uh, uh, differentiates uh, the, the SciSense platform is the extensibility of it, right? The extensibility that it offers. I uh, would not have been able to you know, develop any of those uh, proof of concepts men mentioned earlier without having that as a, a platform to, uh, to build on, right? The simplicity of using that tool to expose those data sets that I'm interested in outside to a different application, right? Like my uh, smartwatch, like the maps for the mixed reality application, uh, it was paramount for me to be actually able to, uh, to build them. Uh, the SciSense tool uh, was able to take our, our very you know, complex uh, database, uh, transfer that into a uh, more nimble and better managed data model, allowing me really to experiment with all those, you know, crazy ideas um, uh, that, uh, that I've talked about uh, uh, before. That's awesome, thank you. And can you elaborate on what positive behavior changes you've seen within the business and also what positive outcomes that's now driving for Air Canada? Absolutely, so let me, let, let me set up the uh, scenario for you. For, so we have uh, highly skilled safety managers that manage all aspects of, uh, uh, that relate to, uh, to a specific branch, right? Uh, that relates to their uh, safety uh, uh, incidents, their quality uh, um, uh, files as well. We have about between seven to 10 different uh, uh, branches uh, with the same more or less amount of uh, safety managers dedicated just for them. They are highly, highly skilled and toned uh, uh, safety manager that are also expected to you know, report out the data at the, uh, at the end of each quarter. We have at, uh, at uh, each and uh, every end of quarter, we have a, a safety board uh, for, each and, uh, for each branch where all the management of that specific branch meet up to discuss their performances from a safety perspective, from a quality perspective. Uh, they, in those meetings, they, they can come up with uh, action items for correction um, and, and all sorts of uh, um, uh, corrective actions to better uh, manage and, and mitigate all those uh, safety events or risks that are uh, arising. For example, I have uh, our in-flight uh, branch uh, and their safety manager. Typically, it would have taken her a week every quarter just to compile that data, right? Uh, so she's compiling that data, extracting that safety data into Excel spreadsheets, and then creating all those uh, pivot tables and, and charts. And then she embeds that into her uh, PowerPoint uh, uh, slide and reports that out in that uh, safety board. Putting all those elements together into that uh, uh, presentation takes her a week every quarter. Now we're talking here again about a highly skilled safety manager that sits down and works with uh, Excel and builds slides to a PowerPoint 
a week every quarter. And that bottom line translates to a month every year. Uh, when we built the dashboard for her, all that was eliminated. All of a sudden now, she does not have to spend those days, weeks, or months uh, during the year to compile that data. But that's not only the thing that we've achieved from that. So, so from an RR perspective, this is easy math uh, to do. Uh, but now we have also the ability to eliminate one of my uh, pet peeves, you know, in those meetings when, uh, when, when you have all the executives sitting there, all the decision makers, this is prime time to correct uh, issues, to, to bring up uh, uh, points and have the decision makers uh, uh, decide on, you know, a new policy, changing the uh, SOPs and all that. Uh, uh, so having that dashboard, having that ability eliminates the, I do not have that data, I'll get back to you later type of questions. Right. Typically, we uh, uh, before we had the dashboard, we were able to show data that was collected. So, for example, if I'm here uh, showing uh, Q1 2021 uh, data, I'll compare that to uh, Q1 2020 and maybe do also a year over year uh, uh, type of thing for the whole year and show those um, uh, slides, those indicators. Uh, but now with the dashboard, if someone asks me, hey, Shaul, um, can you tell me what happened? the first uh, a week of January for the past 10 years, it takes me exactly three clicks and I have the data there. Setting up the, uh, the, the infrastructure to allow all those decision makers to have access real time to the data. And with that driving more uh, a reactive uh, approach to what is looked at uh, 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 traditionally as a more reactive uh, uh, branch. Right, so so this is this is what we're able to bring uh, uh, to the business: uh, consistency, flexibility, adaptability, and this is just awesome. I love that, and and that's what Gen Three of Analytics is all about: quick time from insight to action, and really cutting down on the manual tasks so people can use their brains for the skill sets that they're trained in and let the data be the leading indicator. So thank you for that. And finally, we have a lot of analytics leaders just like you joining us today. What advice would you give them? So really what, I'm, uh, what I would like to, uh, to suggest uh, is that uh, first and foremost, uh, you, know, you have to have the right uh, infrastructure to really drive that type of, uh, of uh, change like we've done in Air Canada in uh, corporate safety. Uh, first and foremost, it has to be, you know, coming from uh, senior management. I am blessed with working with uh, peers that are top notch in their fields. And I'm also blessed with, uh, with uh, senior management uh, backup uh, with, with everything that I do. Um, but all that, uh, you know, would not have helped me unless I have the modern uh, tool set uh, and capabilities to really talk to different people with their different in intelligences, right? You have to be able to look at, uh, at, at what, what I call the battlefield of information uh, uh, really from different angles and understand what, you know, what worked uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, or even five years ago uh, might not work today. We have to have the tools and mechanism, uh, the right tools and right mechanisms in place. So, so we will be able to be more adaptive, more nimble, more flexible, uh, especially in, in these uh, harsh uh, days. Thank you, Shaw, for that great advice. And thank you for joining us today. SciSense looks forward to a strong continued partnership with Air Canada for years to come. Thank you very much. The pleasure is all mine. Air Canada and customers across the world are using the SciSense Fusion platform to infuse analytics everywhere. And they can do this because of our powerful platform that provides a hybrid data experience, provides native cloud architecture so we can truly scale to your elastic cloud needs. Of course, we provide a highly customizable environment so you can build that perfect experience, whether that's in a code first or a code free way. And we're powered by an AI engine so we can recommend and drive infusion to your organization no matter where they are. And we always want to help you provide those in context and personalized insights using our deep embeddability capabilities. To learn more, you can go to the Gartner Peer Insights page where SciSense was chosen as the customer choice in 2020. You can also visit SciSense.com to really understand more about how you can infuse analytics to drive more efficiencies and change within your entire organization. 